Welcome to the Loft Gym. Today we're taking a look at the Atlas Bar from Titan Fitness. I want to dissect it to see what's inside the bar. Part of the reason is I'm curious and the second part is I want to show that uh, these bars are not complicated. So for those folks that are worried about maintaining their bars at home, it's really simple. Uh, there's not much to them. So get ready to open her up and see what's inside. As I mentioned, there's no reason to be intimidated about taking these apart. All you need is one tool and that's circlip pliers. Quality Olympic bars have clips around the end of them. Uh, lesser quality ones have an Allen bolt. But fortunately, this is a bearing bar from Titan Fitness and it does come with the circlip, so we'll be using the circlip pliers. So we'll just put the pliers in the hole. Cover with our other hand because this is spring. And that's what a circlip looks like. So that holds in this beauty cap and let's see if I can fish that out. Yep, holds a beauty cap with the Titan Fitness logo on it. Behind there is the true end cap and it's just a little bit of a thicker metal. Just a, another metal circle is all it is. Okay. Behind that is kind of the real meat of the bar, and that's another circlip. So you take that out. Same way, cover with your hand, use your pliers, pull out the circlip. Now you can begin to slide the sleeve back. Inside you'll find a one of the two large metal rings, and this one's actually a larger one. This is followed by two C-clips, okay, two C-clips that ride in a channel here on the bar. And so these C-clips, along with that big metal ring and the circlip, hold all the lateral force, preventing the sleeve from sliding off the bar. This is followed by the smaller of the two metal rings. And finally, we get the bearings. So we'll just push them off using a sleeve here. There's these roller bearings. I think you can see that on camera. There's two of them on the outboard end and also two of them inside the sleeve. On the brass bushing end. So you may or may not be able to see that in there but there's same setup, two of these bearings riding right inside the sleeve here. So now you're ready to surface. You could wipe the old dirt off, old grease. Uh, you could put some new grease inside there and you're effectively done. This bar has not given me any problems from new. It doesn't squeak, doesn't make any noise. It spins just fine for the exercise I do. So let's put it back together. All right, so to put it back together, everything goes back in the, the reverse order, right? So we put the sleeve on, and we kind of slide it back almost all the way to the knurling. Then we'll put our outboard bearings in. Get them seated in there. Then we take the smaller of the two big rings and put it in there. And some of it's just, you know, a bit finicky to get it lined up correctly. But it's really no big deal. There we go. After that, we put our two C-clips in. The bigger of the metal rings goes next. This is secured by a circlip. So I took it out left handed. Let's see if I could put it in back. Left handed here. Now if I could do it left handed, that means you 
should be able to do it right handed. All right, that's it. So there you can uh, effectively your bars put back together. So all that's remaining is these end caps, right? So the thick metal circle followed by the beauty cap, Titan logo, and the last circlet. Should have did the other side, then I could have done this right. All right. Check to make sure that's secure. And that's it. Just takes a couple minutes to open this up, service it. So I hope this video proved that you should not be intimidated of these bars. Very easy to take apart, very easy to service. Um, now it looks like these inboard bearings, you may need to pop that bushing out at, at that end to be able to replace them, but you really shouldn't need to replace them. You should just be able to clean them and uh, lube them while they're in the bar. And if anything goes wrong, hopefully Titan Fitness stands by their product and will uh, send you out a replacement according to their warranty. All right, hope you found this useful and entertaining. If so, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow a little bit. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining Loft Gym.